All right, let's find our seat. For those of you still recovering from the holidays. <laughs> yeah. I hope you had good ones, whatever you were celebrating. We'll come to sit in any position that is comfortable. Take a few deep breaths all the way from the chest to the belly, belly to the chest. Breathing to the extremities of your skin. And then begin to relax your breathing into samavritti, even inhale, even exhale. See if you can feel the movement of the entire torso with your breath. And if not the entire torso, just notice which parts of your torso, lungs, heart, ribs, diaphragm, belly, pelvic floor, which parts are within your sensitivity. Scan the body from the head to the toes. Relaxing any larger chunks of tension. Relaxing the digestive organs. Good. Bring the palms together underneath the nostrils, feeling the touch of air across the fingers, backs of the hands, a reminder of your own life force, prana. Namaskar to that life within me. The one who cares and nurtures for all beings on this planet. As you exhale, bring your hands in front of the heart for Ayur Mantra. Om, Om Ayur Dehi Om Pranam Dehi Om Dehi Om Vyanam Dehi Om Chakshur Dehi Om Shrutram Dehi Om Mano Dehi Om Vacham Dehi Om Atmanam Dehi Om Pratishtam Dehi Om Aam Dehi Om Mai Dehi
in the pause in between, just reflecting on nourishment for all beings. Om Shantihi, 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 Hari Om Tatsat. Good. Begin to re-stabilize your breathing. All right, chanting is just a wonderful way. It's a type of pranayama, extending your exhalations, feeling the vibrations of breath deeper in your body. With your next inhalation, take the arms out and up, interlace the fingers and flip the palms at the top. All right, bring the chin slightly down, arm bones back in space. All right, feeling the arms starting from the lower floating ribs. You can even shimmy the waist a little bit side to side to feel where those floating ribs are. And then lifting from there, right? Bring your mind there and feel the extension from the rib cage so that the shoulders can soften and relax. Good. And that the tubes of energy through the shoulders, Elbows, wrists are wide and open from the heart center. Relax the muscles of the face, the jaw joint. 54 rounds of Kapal Bhati. Forceful exhale, passive inhale, right? Avoiding Kapal Bhati if you have any of the contraindications, you're on your cycle, pregnant, any abdominal surgeries. Inhale. Lightly hold the breath at the soft palate, contract the pelvic floor, and begin. Forceful exhale, passive inhale. As you're ready, relax the hands down. Take three resting breaths. That means breaths without any purpose or extension. Just feeling the effects. Bringing your dominant hand into Mrigi Mudra, Vishnu Mudra. Fold down the pointer finger and middle finger towards the palm. And then bring the hand towards the face. Thumb will close one nostril, ring finger, other nostril. Right? Soften the shoulder points back, chin slightly down. Today we'll practice a little bit more the extension of the exhalation in Anuloma Ujjayi. So when we breathe in, we'll breathe in Ujjayi Pranayama through both nostrils slightly constricting the muscles of the throat so we can feel the rubbing sensation there. And then when we breathe out, we'll breathe out through one nostril or the other, throat is relaxed. So take a breath in and out to prepare. Our ratio will be four on the inhale and eight on the exhale. Now breathe in Ujjayi, both nostrils open for four. Three, Four, lightly hold the breath as you close the left nostril. Exhale right for eight. Relax your throat. Seven, eight. Open both nostrils. Inhale, Ujjayi. Mind is at the throat center. Lightly hold, closing the left. Exhale right. Excuse me, closing the right, exhale left. Seven, eight, 
Open both nostrils. Inhale, Ujjayi. Lightly hold, close left, exhale right. Six, seven, eight. Open both, inhale Ujjayi. Lightly hold as you transition, exhale left. Eight counts. Seven. Eight, open both, inhale Ujjayi. Lightly hold, close the left, exhale right. All of the mind in the solar channel, feeling the subtle pulsation of breath outwards and downwards. Seven, eight, open both, inhale Ujjayi. Hold and exhale left. Six, seven, eight. Good. Take the hand down. Relax your breathing. Breath without agenda, without purpose. Just let the breath recalibrate. When you feel ready, begin to breathe in Samavritti again, even inhale, even exhale. Good. With your next inhalation, we'll begin to move. So lean back, bring the legs together behind you. Come to lay on your abdomen, hands by the sides of the chest, legs together behind you, and forehead or chin down to the ground. Keep the body active, right? So draw the legs together, draw the fingers together, and then really point the elbows back down towards the heels. Feel the preparation for Bhujangasana. As you inhale, pressing the pubic bone of the front of the pelvis down into the ground, feel the lengthening of the abdomen, sternum, head, maybe they slightly lift. And then as you exhale, slowly lower down. Let's do that three times. Inhale, activate the legs towards one another. Right, feel the spine, not that it stops at the tailbone, but that it really reaches all the way down to the heel bones, stabilizing. Good, exhale down. One more. Inhale, five second inhale, rising up. Exhale, slowly lowering down. Good. Now with your next inhalation, rising up, and then sweeping the right arm straight forward along the right side of the head. And then as you exhale, turning the head to the left side, relaxing the left arm and the right arm down by the sides of the body, palms facing up. Move side to side. As you inhale, sweep the left arm all the way in a semicircle to the front, lifting the chest, lengthening the left side body. As you exhale, left arm sweeps down and head turns to the right and rests side to side. Try to keep the arm bone alongside the head. Listen to Ujjayi Pranayama as you practice. Good. One more time, each side. And then resting in Makarasana or bring your cheek to one side. Remember Makarasana, separating the legs, holding opposite upper arms with the hands and resting the forehead 
on the forearms, whichever feels like more rest for you. Just resting on the belly, relaxing the breath, observing the heart rate. Good. We'll start to breathe one to one to one. That means breathe in for five. Hold for five. Breathe out for five. For five. Again, breathe in for five. Hold for five. Feel the edges of the back body and breathe out for five. One more time. Breathe in for five. Hold for five. Breathe out for five. As you breathe out, slide the hands by the sides of the chest, tuck your toes, and then push up into high chaturanga. Right. From here, as you exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Feet together, fingers together. Lower jaw relaxing away from upper jaw. The root of the tongue wide and spacious. Three breaths. Good. Practicing your sum of dhiti breath ratio or anything that the body is showing you. After a few years of practicing different ratios of breath, sometimes the body will show you how to breathe. Good. With your next exhalation, come forward into your high chaturanga and then slowly lower down onto your abdomen. Drop the knees down first. If you need to, relax the tops of the toes. Take your right arm forward and then roll over onto your right side. Right, so the right arm is long and your head is resting mm -hmm, on the right arm, left hand in front of you, and then flip the right palm to face up to the sky. Good. Legs are stacked. Press the heels or the toes away from you so that legs are active. And then take a look down to make sure that your hips and heels are relatively in one line, not too far forward, not too far back. Yeah, good. Now, there's a slight engagement here in the abdomen to hold yourself up. See if you can inhale, take the left arm up to the sky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. And then exhale, reach it over the head and place the left palm on top of the right palm or right wrist. Some of you may be on the you know, elbow region, wherever the hand reaches. Good. Now really reach through the arms, reach through the legs, stabilize your breathing. Good. With your next inhalation, see if maybe you can lift the legs slightly up off of the ground. You might find yourself wobbling a bit, let yourself move back and forth. Good. Keeping the legs lifted, maybe lifting the hands up off of the ground, maybe the bottom elbow, maybe the head. And if you're wobbling, <laughs> accentuate the wobbling. Yeah. Like a little fish. Good. And then exhale, roll over onto the abdomen. All right, now you're in Danda Samarpanam, full prostration on the ground. Breathing into the back body. And then same thing here, as you inhale, reach the legs, lift the legs away from the ground by lengthening them. Exhale here, and then maybe inhale, lift the arms, the hands, the head. Reach, reach, reach. 
Good. And then exhale, roll over onto the left side. So as you roll to the left, head resting on the left arm, legs extending long, right hand in front of you. First, find stability and then point and flex through the toes, look down, make sure they're extending relatively straight down from the hip. And then inhale, arm reaches up. Yeah, and then as you exhale, reach it over the head onto the left palm, wrist, elbow. Good, start to lengthen your spine. That means reach the fingers and heels or toes away from one another. Some of you might find this is enough. Otherwise, inhale, maybe practice lifting the legs. Mm, good. Stay here or next inhalation, lifting the arms. <laughs> good. Enjoy the movement all through the body of trying to balance on the side of the hip, on the side of the shoulder. Good. And then exhale, roll onto the belly. Dandasamarpanam. Full prostration. As you inhale, lift the legs, lift the arms. Right. Breathing in and out, upward facing boat. Good. Now as you exhale, roll back onto the right side. Yeah. As you roll to the right, this time we're going to bend the right elbow and hold the head with the right hand. Anantasana. Now, if you've ever seen, this is a posture taken on by Vishnu, by the Buddha, right? The resting posture. Right? The story is that Vishnu rests on the cosmic serpent named Adishesha. Right, also named Ananta, endless, infinite, dreaming the dream of the universe. So, closing the eyes and just letting yourself move deeper into that restful dream state. The vibrant energy, creativity of your breath. Good. Staying here. Our next exhalation, bring your left knee in towards the chest. Yeah. Take your left hand to the inside of the left leg and catch the big toes. Mm -hmm. Good. Just like we did in our little preparation before, stabilize along the center of the abdomen, point or flex the bottom toes. Right. Good. And then next inhalation, lengthen that left leg up towards the sky. Beautiful. If you find that you cannot lengthen the leg, you can either bend the knee, keeping the hold of the big toe, or take the hand to the outside of the leg, right? And then extend the leg that way. Good. Let's practice three breaths here. This is the full Anantasana. Find where it is in your body that has a stabilizing force and where it is in your body that has an energetic force. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then next exhalation, softly bend the knee, relax the left leg over the right leg. Roll over onto your belly in Makarasana B. Take the forearms on the ground and just relax the chin down towards the notch of the throat. As you lift the abdomen through the pressurization of the elbows against the earth and then drag the earth towards you, stretching the skin across the solar plexus. Stabilize your breathing. Soften the shoulders down. Good. With your next inhalation, let's take it over to the other side. So rolling over onto the left side, your left elbow will come to the ground. And 
supporting the head. Right hand in front of you first, stabilize. Relax into the posture of rest. So this posture is the posture of really the Buddha. When he finally went into Parinibbana or the final liberation, that means death for an enlightened being. He took on this posture, rested, and then left the world. But staying here this time as you exhale, bring your right knee in towards the chest. Reach your right hand from the inside of the leg to hold the right big toes. Really extend the left leg long and stabilize it against the ground. You can point or flex through the heels, mm -hmm. through the heel. And then with your next inhalation, extending the right leg up to the sky, again, holding the big toe or wrapping the hand behind the leg if the big toe feels very far away. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Try. The bottom of your body is the stabilization on Adi Shesha, this cosmic serpent, the earth energy of creation, potential. Stability and Shakti, energy. Stability and energy. See if a slight smile can come on the face. Hmm. Wonderful. One more breath. And then as you're ready, softly let go. Exhale, leg over leg. Inhale, roll over onto the abdomen. Slide the hands by the sides of the chest and then press up to all fours and either back to Balasana or back to Adhamukha Svanasana, as you wish. Three breaths. Mm, very nice. I haven't done that pose in forever. I don't know how, you know, it, the poses have their own life force. I really feel they just come into the consciousness and then remind you that there's an energy perhaps that you haven't taken on. Good. And then when you're ready, soften the knees and come to your seat for pranayama. Take your rest. If you feel like you need to lie down in Shavasana for a few breaths, do that. Otherwise, find a restful posture. Mm -hmm. Find your favorite cushion, shawl, mat. Taking the thumbs inside of the palms and then roll the fingers around the thumbs. So you're making little fists. And then place the sides of the knuckles against one another at the abdomen. So if you can't have the full size of the knuckles, that's fine. Just relatively the fingers, the nail size are pointing up. Thumbs are into the fingers and the sides of the hands are extending out. Yeah, chin slightly down, gazing towards the navel center internally. We'll practice a little bit more focus on ujjayi pranayama with our breath ratios. So we'll inhale for five, exhale for 10. Hold the breath out, focusing at the navel center. And then again, inhale for five, exhale for 10, lightly holding the breath out at the end. So come back to Ujjayi breathing if you've lost it.
we'll start together. So inhale, five counts. Exhale, 10 counts, keeping your focus at the navel. Eight, nine, 10. Lightly hold the breath out with or without the bandhas. Relax the bandhas, relax your abdomen, breathe in five, ujjayi. Breathe out, 10, ujjayi. Keep your focus entirely at the navel the whole time. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Hold the breath out with or without the bandhas. Set them down, relax the abdomen, breathe in for five. Breathe out for 10. Empty, empty, empty. Nine, 10. Hold the breath out with or without bandhas. Relax the bandhas. Breathe in for five. Ujjayi. It's like you're fanning the perpetual fire in the navel. Breathe out for 10. Hold the breath out with or without bandhas. Relax your belly in the bandhas. Breathe in for five. Last round. Breathe out for 10. Eight, nine, 10. Hold the breath out. Relax your effort, breathe normally. Soften the throat, natural breaths, keeping your focus in the navel center. Feeling, sensing, seeing the Agni principle, the fire principle. Today we'll do a bit of mantra recitation, the Bij mantra or seed mantra of the solar plexus, which is Ram, R-A-M. Ram. We'll start with external recitation and then move into internal recitation. So you can, as you're ready, recite with me. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, 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 Ram. Beginning to recite within yourself at the solar plexus. Ram, 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 Ram. Let the mantra show you the pacing, the speed. Let it arise naturally. Ram, the mantra of agni, of fire, fire element.
And gently let the mantra go back into the silence of the inner world. Sitting, focusing lightly in the center of your being. Ananta. Endless, infinite potential. That is what Vishnu is sleeping on. Infinite worlds, infinite beings, the potential to arise. Let yourself for a moment swim in the realm of these infinite ways in which life can move. And see the ways in which you and consciousness weave together the architecture of your own destiny. Working side by side. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, relax the fingers open on the lap. Feel the air against the palms. Bringing the palms together in Anjali Mudra. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat. As you exhale, surrender your body to Mother Earth. Inhaling to rise as you're ready, keeping the eyes closed as you rub the hands, bringing heat and placing that heat at the eyes, the forehead. Heat from the center of your being. Even within cold, there's heat. Movement is heat, friction is heat. All the cells constantly moving, creating, dissolving. Good. And then slowly opening the eyes as you're ready. Coming back to this world. <laughs>